This is you in 20 years infected and transformed into a zombie. You laugh, what crap, you might think. I know, let me explain why a zombie apocalypse is truly inevitable. You see, the seeds of this nightmare have already been planted in the real world, courtesy of a charming little fungus called cordyceps. While you might be laughing now, I promise you, by the end of this story, you'll be eyeing your mushrooms with suspicion. We've all seen zombies in movies and TV shows. They're the shambling, brain-eating monsters that make us glad to be alive. But the concept of zombie apocalypse is actually rooted in nature. We're talking about real-life fungi that turn unsuspecting insects into mindless, spore-spreading machines. Forget Hollywood, this horror show is brought to you by Mother Nature. Cordyceps, this nasty little organism, has been quietly perfecting the art of parasitic mind control in the insect world. Picture this, you're an ant living your best ant life when, bam, a tiny invisible spore lands on you. No big deal, right? Wrong. This spore is about to turn your world upside down and inside out. The spore germinates, spreading fungal hyphae throughout your body quicker than COVID. This isn't just an infection, it's a hostile takeover. The fungus releases a cocktail of chemicals that hijack your nervous system. Suddenly, your ant brain is no longer in control. You're compelled to leave the cozy safety of your colony and climb up to a nice high spot, preferably one with a good view and just the right humidity for fungal growth. There, you bite down in a death grip that would make a dentist proud. The fungus doesn't kill you right away, it keeps you alive just long enough to turn you into a spore-spewing zombie. Eventually, the fungus bursts through your exoskeleton, usually in the head area, because why not go for maximum horror? It releases its spores into the wind, and the cycle of terror continues. But Cordyceps isn't the only fungal villain in town. Meet Massospora cicadina, which infects cicadas and turns them into hypersexual spore spreaders. This fungus makes cicadas so desperate to mate that they don't even notice their bodies are disintegrating. Just like a simp giving all of its money to his favorite streamer, hoping that it'll lead to a passionate romance. And then there's Entomophthora, which infects flies and makes them climb to high places before their bodies become spore launch pads. Each of these fungi has its own twisted method of turning insects into zombies. It's like a horror anthology, but for bugs. Now, let's talk humans. Could a fungus like Cordyceps evolve to infect us? Our bodies are more complex and our immune systems stronger than those of insects, but we're not invincible. Candida auris, for example, is a drug-resistant fungus causing severe infections worldwide. Unlike its insect-targeting cousins, Candida auris thrives at human body temperature and laughs in the face of our best medical treatments. If a fungus like Cordyceps were to evolve similarly, we'd be in serious trouble. However, Cordyceps can't survive past 34.5 degrees Celsius, making our body immune to this fungus infection. But what if the fungus evolved and became more resistant to heat? I'll tell you how, but don't hit me with that conspiracy theorist stuff. Global warming. It's not just about melting ice caps and sad polar bears anymore. No, it's also about giving fungi the glow up they've been waiting for. Thanks to climate change, fungi are evolving faster than a Pokemon gobbling down rare candies. Fungi have always loved warm, humid environments. Think rainforests and your gym locker room. But as global temperatures rise, these fungi are getting a taste for warmer climates. Guess what? Our cozy, warm bodies are starting to look like prime real estate. It's as if we're rolling out the red carpet for our fungal overlords. Climate change is like a personal trainer for fungi, helping them bulk up and get ready for the big leagues. Fungi that could never survive the heat of a human body are now getting a crash course in adaptation. Warmer global temperatures mean these fungi are evolving to tolerate higher temperatures. 
The idea of fungi evolving to infect humans isn't just a plot line for a dystopian thriller, it's a legitimate scientific concern. Fungi are incredibly versatile and can evolve quickly. As the planet heats up, the odds of fungi adapting to higher temperatures, and by extension, to human hosts, are increasing. Are you starting to sweat hearing this? Good, you're providing perfect humidity for the fungus to develop. But what would it look like if you were to become a walking zombie shroom? The first signs are subtle. People develop mysterious infections that scoff at antibiotics. Mm. Doctors are baffled, thinking it's just another superbug. But nope, it's Cordyceps 2.0, and it's here to turn your world upside down. As the fungus spreads, symptoms get weird. Infected individuals start wandering into humid environments, climbing structures, and adopting the infamous death grip. People are found clutching trees and buildings, their bodies launching pads for new spores. Trees are finally getting all the hugs they wanted for years, but that's not a good sign for us. Panic ensues. Hospitals are overwhelmed with patients showing extreme aggression and hallucinations. The media dubs them fungus zombies, and hysteria grips the nation. Remember that peaceful park stroll? Now it's a war zone with spores floating around like deadly confetti. The military enforces quarantine zones and curfews, but it's too late. Spores are airborne, hitching rides on the wind. Every breath you take is a potential death sentence. Schools close, cities lock down, and people hoard supplies like it's Black Friday every day. Survivors band together, scavenging for supplies and avoiding the infected. They quickly learn that direct contact isn't the only danger. Inhaling spores can be just as deadly. Makeshift masks and homemade antifungal remedies have become the new fashion trend. Forget Louis Vuitton, the best new brand in town is Fungucci. Scientists scramble to develop a cure, working around the clock in underground labs. But the fungus is always one step ahead, constantly mutating. It's like trying to hit a moving target while blindfolded. Then there are the fungal colonies. Entire neighborhoods overtaken by fungal growths resembling twisted, nightmarish forests. Entering these zones is a death sentence, but sometimes it's the only way to find food and medicine. Survivors develop strategies to navigate these areas, but every trip is a gamble. Communication breaks down as the infected sabotage power lines and networks. The world goes dark and survival becomes the ultimate game. It's a world where your worst nightmares come true and survival is the name of the game. So you've made it this far. Congrats! Now let's arm you with the ultimate survival guide for our sportastic fungal apocalypse. Because when the world goes fungal, you'll need more than just luck to stay human. Tip number one, fashion-forward fungus protection. Forget fashion, your new wardrobe should include hazmat suits, gas masks, and airtight goggles. Can't find professional gear? Get creative with plastic wrap and duct tape. Looking ridiculous is a small price to pay for avoiding zombification. Tip number two, DIY antifungal remedies. Pharmacies will be looted fast, so turn your kitchen into an apothecary. Stock up on vinegar, garlic, and tea tree oil for their antifungal properties. Mix up potions that would make any medieval healer proud. Patch test first, fungus is bad, but so is a skin rash. Tip number three, high and dry hideouts. Fungi love moisture, so avoid basements and damp areas. Opt for high-rise apartments, attics, or even tree houses. If possible, try to get to the mountains where the air is drier. These locations offer better defense and keep you above the spore-filled fray. Tip number four, hygiene is key. In a spore-filled world, cleanliness is your best defense. Wash hands, sanitize surfaces, and avoid touching your face. Set up a decontamination zone at your hideout entrance to clean off potentially contaminated clothing. But if you lived through COVID, you already know all that stuff. Tip number five, team up. Don't go solo. Form alliances with fellow survivors using radios, signal fires, or even carrier pigeons. 
Sharing info about safe zones, food sources, and infection hotspots can save lives. Plus, having friends means you can laugh in the face of danger together. Tip number six, know your enemy. Learn everything about the fungi you're facing. Understanding their life cycles, weaknesses, and behaviors can help you avoid infection and fight back effectively. Become the fungal equivalent of a monster hunter. Tip number seven, stay mobile. Staying put is risky. Keep a go bag with essentials, food, water, medical supplies, and DIY antifungal remedies. Be ready to move quickly if the spores start closing in. There you have it, the ultimate guide to surviving a fungus-driven zombie apocalypse. Stay informed, stay prepared, and above all, stay human.